um, a collection of some scrap gold um, and scrap palladium, which is right here. These are from, um, they're called MLCs, I think. I'm not really sure. Um, I've collected these through uh, computer chipboards and cell phones and all sorts of, uh, you know, little electronic components. They do con uh, contain a metal called palladium. Uh, palladium is a precious metal. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's an electronic component. These are more or less capacitors. Um, and they're, uh, they're ceramic and a small amount of palladium inside. Um, and what I do is I just keep them in this little container here amongst my other things. Also, uh, what I have here is I have uh, gold. Uh, this is gold and, and some other kind of composite metal. Um, it, these are all from pins, uh, from you know cell phones and computers and things like that. So I've managed to save up, uh, you know, and separate this stuff over time. Uh, one day I might process it further and possibly melt it down into uh, you know mini ingots or something like that. Uh, you know that involves using uh, you know, acids, corrosive acids. So you have to be careful. Um, I've looked on YouTube. There's a lot of great videos on there, and that show you how to do that. But you have to do it right. Um, so anyway, that's I don't have a, uh, a scale right now, so I can't weigh it, but uh, I'll eventually get a scale and then I'll know what I'm dealing with here. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the, um, the mixed gold metal. Um, these are over here, gold fingers. Um, I'll show you what I have here. And the thing with these is, is these are, everybody's familiar with these, computer chip boards, uh, televisions, all sorts of things like that. Um, they contain a very... Uh, fine layer of, of gold it's there you know so many microns thick they could be like 9 or 10 or 11 or 20 we, I, don't, I don't really know I mean usually the older the electronics the the thicker uh, the the gold will be uh, I'm not sure how old these are but nonetheless it is it's there and uh, it's ready to be processed and uh, you can see here there's SD cards and whatnot and uh, these are this looks like it's a, a Wi-Fi adapter for a computer or laptop or something like that I've got two of them here. Um, yeah, so I just save all the stuff, and like I said, I subdivide it. And when I started with the collection, I started with some basic cell phone pieces that uh, I'll show you those in a second. Put these back over here. Just, uh, I mean, I'm not really sure what I have in uh, dollars wise here in gold. I mean, it has to be obviously processed finer and finer and into some kind of uh, more pure form, uh, but. Maybe one day I'll get around to doing that. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, these right here. This is cool. These are like the smaller pieces from cell phones. Um, you know, you have your little cameras, a uh, little, little camera thing here. And on the back of those little cameras, there's a little bit of gold on it. It isn't much, but you can see it, you know, right there. And there's all sorts of little pieces, little connection points. Uh, those are gold. Pins, those are gold. What else we got here? Uh, well, yeah, mainly connection points, uh, small, tiny little pieces, this little thing right here. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I save them. I put them in a little plastic thing over here. And, um, you know, I, I let the collection grow. This, you know, collection has been growing for a couple of years now, maybe two years or something. If I find a cell phone that somebody's throwing away or an old laptop or something like that that's of no use, I will take the time and take it apart and try to get it as, you know, disassembled as possible and just kind of organize all the pieces here and, you know, it's, it's a tedious, boring job, but, you know, I guess so is uh, gold mining. But, uh, this is the modern day gold mining in 2020, you know, this is how it's done uh, with electronics. Some people have a lot more than this, you know, uh, other countries do this stuff. Um, you know, uh, India and China, they're pretty proficient with all this stuff and some people know how to deal with the uh, acid processing and they're familiar with it. Um, I haven't been involved with that yet. I think one day maybe, but you really got to know what you're doing with that stuff. So that's just some of the little pieces I have here. Okay, put that back over here. Uh, what else here? Uh, yeah, even you see there's gold even in the ribbons the ribbons even have gold, you know uh, It's not a lot. I mean these are really thin, but they're they're just uh, They're there and you can see it 
you know, I just cut them off, cut off the ends, and, um, you know, that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it with that. And uh, in a minute I'll show you some of the pieces that I have here that are, have, a, you know, more gold than this. This, this is just the little ends, I call them, you know. So, so, like I said, it's a boring job to do this, but... Back. Okay. And then these ribbons too, I'm not going to bother spilling it out, but you can see there's a little connection points and small amounts. Uh, what I've noticed is over time, some of the phones that have the most amount of gold are the older ones, like this. This is a, you know, some sort of cell phone. Uh, you can see that's, you know, it's pretty wide area you have there. You know, uh, this probably is something of a larger cell phone probably from the early 2000s I mean give or take I don't really know for sure but I mean clearly you can see that that's you know that's a, a wide area right there I have another one over here that's like that too let's see this one's pretty generous it says Qualcomm so you know that it's a cell phone uh, I don't know if there's any dates on it but yeah that's pretty nice so I'm lucky to find those and then of course these are the flip phone types with the uh, dial pads. Uh, the connection points as well, those are gold, you know. Yeah, sometimes they have silver on the other side of the buttons. There's a little round silver thing, but yeah, that has some gold on it. Um, the RAM chips. These are computer RAM chips. These have, you know, a fair amount of gold. These came from a, 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 a desktop computer, Corsair RAM. And I've got another one over here too. So check that out. These are pretty generous with, with gold. And I have also come across this. That's pretty cool. Um, again, these are not solid gold. These are just, you know, plated. And um, you know, they use that for connect you know, connectivity properties, you know. So I'll put that back over here. Um, these are some of the bigger fingers. I actually put a piece of tape on it back so you can or you know so rather so that I can Keep it a little more organized over time. I've gotten more organized with this stuff. So, you know, that's been the goal try to keep it um, Easier Some more gold here. These are really thin SD cards um, data cards different electronic devices you know like another piece of tape that I keep in the back just to keep it all together singular wireless so and oh yeah these right here CPU chips these little thing uh, little prod points I've got a, a few of these you know right here these are cool I've got a couple more over there, seven or eight more, but uh, yeah, these are good too. You know, I haven't further taken these apart yet, but um, they definitely contain some sort of gold. That's a nice one. This one seems to have the most. It's probably an older CPU chip, AMD, in 1998. Uh, so those are the ones that had the 2.2 volt core, 3.3. Yeah, the newer computers, they just don't have as much gold they they wanted to cut back as you can see this is probably a much newer one and so is that it's a pentium 4 you know so much less as you can see you know put those back here the uh, newer um, cell phones this is what's this is what's in the newer cell phones they're just they were somewhat cheap with gold. They didn't. They really didn't put a lot in there. Uh, these are the newer ones. These are like uh, smartphones, touchscreen smartphones. They just really didn't have a lot, you know. Um, trying to cut back on resources and expenses to to build the cell phones, you know. Then a very minimum amount in each one of them. That's what I've noticed. Now, like I said before, the 
the phones when they started to uh, work with the uh, the flip phones they were obviously more generous I mean, you can see here that you know these types of flip phones right here they were they actually gave you a little bit more gold for your uh, for their internal parts I mean you can clearly see that and you know that's kind of cool um, I did come across a Blackberry this was probably a early 2000s Blackberry that was right here. I mean, this is 2004. Yeah, this is a 2004 rim. Um, so obviously you can see that this thing was uh, generously made. I mean, you could see that this what they put a lot of quality into this. You know, whatever company made this. I believe this thing came from Canada, if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a nice. It's a nice chipboard. I mean, the quality is really good, whatever it was. But yeah, check that out. There, so that's pretty good. Let's go away to it. And I got another uh, earlier smartphone type thing. Well, not even a smartphone. I think this was a uh, some kind of portable device. Yeah, fair amount of gold there. things here and just little bits and pieces like I said not much but just something um, these here came from television sets uh, as you can see right here they are some sort of chipboards I don't know exactly what but they're inside I think they they process the um, the picture quality or something I don't, I don't really know but and here's another one right here. Yeah. These tend to have, you know, uh, there's really, like I said, there's not a lot of gold in it, but uh, as you can see, there's definitely on the pins. They're very small pins, of course, but. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a little bit of a, let's see right here, yeah, I think it's, yeah, so, I mean, I'd imagine that one day, like I said, I would, uh, that's a nice little piece right there, you know, but then I've got some more over there too, let's see if I can get some more of these things, and there we are, yeah, made in Taiwan. Most of these things are made in Asia. So 99 percent. That's a nice little piece here. But yeah, this is this is it. You know, it's been taken apart little, little electronics over the years, like I said before, and you know it does add up. And it's, like I said, there's not a lot in each one, but then again, the price of gold does go up. I don't know what it is today, but I do know that it is on the upward rise. And it's one of those commodities that uh, these here. These came from these came from a computer. Um, I, these are obviously not solid or anything, but I do believe that they are plated. I don't know in what they're plated, but they appear to be gold in color. But uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not really sure. Uh, like eventually, when I do process all this stuff, I, I'll probably throw these in whenever I get out of that. You know. I'd imagine that there's some gold content in them. Uh, these are the chips. Um, they're Rockwell 1997. Now these, from what I've heard, do have gold in them. I have yet to been able to uh, figure out how to... I mean, you could smash them, I suppose. But um, these are in practically everything. I mean, you... I do imagine you, you know, a lot of these to, to do anything. I just haven't got that far yet. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, well, uh, like I said, thank you for watching. Check out my YouTube channel. Most of my other videos have nothing to do with this stuff. I do a lot of video marketing, restaurants, local Southwest Florida stuff. So um, yeah, check it out. Give me a subscription. I'd appreciate it. And um, uh, I'll see if I can keep this collection keep going in the future. All right, thank you.